Judy Paff is an abstract expressionist artist. She specializes in installations, printmaking, drawings, and sculptures. Judy was born in 1946 in London, England. She set sail for Detroit at the age of 13. She attended Washington University and then went on to Yale to get her master's. I am Emma Olenzak. I am Nick Ruland. I'm Sarah Levy. And this is Creativity for a Lifetime, and we will be following the journey of Judy Paff. While at Yale, Judy studied Al Held and then later on became Judy's main mentor. As a graduate student, she took interest with Al and that helped lead her way into her artwork. Judy's early artwork focused on lines and color to create space. Using minimal color in early pieces of art, Judy used simple techniques and materials to create complex prints, installations, and sculptures. Judy's first installation used materials such as styrofoam, aluminum foil, seed lamps, and paper mache. In 1978, Judy made her first abstract, abstract sculpture using fluorescent yellow and maroon colors over metal and wood, creating a three-dimensional space. Judy's creative mind has no limitations to the materials that she uses in her artwork. Her piece, The Prototypes, involves mixed adhesive plastics on graph paper using simple yet complex lines to express her artwork. Next, we're going to be looking at Judy's artwork from 2009 to 2019. During this creation of artwork, she began to change from a more simplistic way of creating to a more intricate collection of art. Although her artwork became more complex throughout the years, she ended up sticking to a limited color scheme of mostly black, yellow, and white. In her installation, you can see that it has much more details than her work from the 70s. She adds dimension to her installation and is more abstract than her specific shapes and harsh lines from her earlier pieces. It looks as though the, pieces, the piece is made out of wire and clay. She added more mediums to her work. While looking at her sculpture, the yellow jacket, it became more detailed with soft lines and a rounded, elongated shape. It is one piece with a complex design rather than multiple pieces put together. This piece is made up of melted plastic, expanded foam, aluminum disc, and acrylic, whereas her sculpture from the late 70s was made up of metal, wood, and oil. Her work also grew in size throughout all of the mediums she used. Her drawing and print are extremely similar to each other. Both pieces include the yellow, black, and white color scheme. A circular pattern, pattern is clearly shown throughout these two pieces. Her drawing and print consists of a wood out, a wood cut, hand painted die. Judy's most recent art pieces have exploded with color depth. Judy displays a large familiarity with the color wheel. Miles McGrinney Gallery holds the most recent piece and installation created in 2019. The installation and sculpture show the commonality between the two pieces within the design shape, shading, and textures. The harmonious displays of color create a variety of intricate details that allow you to see something different every time. The rooster takes a play on a whimsical glass making technique with fluorescent colors that intertwine within a thin pattern of circular strokes. The line down the middle of the piece creates for an interesting movement. Thus here ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.